Good to know you're still with us. It's time for Plus Trending, where we look at the topics that drove conversation on social media over the weekend. As Nigerians across the world step into a new week, the conversation on social media revolves around setting questions. To help figure out these questions and shed more light on the conversations in is our in-house uh, social media manager, Buki November. A pleasure to have you join us. Same here, Felicity. Tell us what's going on. Okay, so um, online, people are asking questions. Um, I saw a part of the breakfast, you already mentioned, like, what next? I mean, that's the major conversation on social media. So what happens now? The protests are, quote, unquote, over. Um, there's the lucky to get There's just a lot of questions. So what happens now? The people who who allegedly died during the Lekki um, protest, at the Lekki Togate, or hashtag Lekki Massacre, what happens to them? Um, what happens to their families? Did anybody really die? Um, okay, so now that they've said, okay, people should, there's a curfew in Lagos, for example, what happens to the Lekki tolls? Are they going to be open for business anytime soon? Are they scrapping the tolls? You yeah. know, so basically, just questions, 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 sats, swat. So now, is there still, what, what is happening? Is there now SWAT? Is it staying? Because part of the protest was the fact that we didn't want SWAT. So is that going to be fixed? So even Notes if you get, you know, like, so, so, and those questions are actually linked. Yes. Do you understand? It also revolves around the hashtag NSAS protest. Well, so something you mentioned is, you know, you said, quote, unquote, uh, the protests are over, you know, but, yeah. but I feel, you know, from what I sense, you know, I think it's more of a, conversation with regards, you know, re-strategizing, because I've seen also, even, you know, a few minutes ago, I saw that there was a protest in Hungary. Um, there have been protests in France, in mm -hmm. Italy, in Germany, everywhere, you know, so it seems like the international community has also now started to pick up on their own, you know, NSAS protest um, at nine, um, on the streets and everywhere, in the US and Canada and, and, and in, in the yeah. UK also. Um, but some other thing that I, um, in, in one of the conversations that I had over the weekend, you know, I heard some people also talking about um, how they need to mend fences between the, I don't want to call them the lecky protesters, but that's how they've been tagged. The lecky protesters that have been, that they, you know, described as really peaceful. And then the, the you know, ones who went around destroying uh, mm. property and all of that. How do you bring these two together? I've seen people making flyers to try and educate these, um, in quote, violent protesters and let them know that they should not, you know, always fall into the trap of being used as thugs yeah. to destroy, you know, private and public yeah, there, property. Yeah, there's, there's also this uh, conversation um, that I saw. I don't know how um, uh, prominent it was on social media over the weekend. The question about the CCTV camera at Lekki yeah. and oh. the alleged camera that was discovered oh, that's by also on the, In fact, that was next on my <laughs> list. Because yeah, the reactions <laughs> don't describe it. Yeah, trended time. yesterday. And I, I wanted to get comments to share um, on the show today, but the comments, they were horrible. Yeah, I, 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 I couldn't... In fact, on the, television. You probably. couldn't wear the homes. <laughs> like, homes. Like, was, like was homes. And I'm like, people, respect. They're like, mm, what's my business to respect? But the truth is, people are curious. It feels like this whole NSAS thing just opened people's eyes. Thing. In fact, the youths of Nigeria, they're now asking so many questions. And it feels like they now feel like their voices can be heard. They feel like they can actually make something change. They can actually effect some sort of change or raise awareness regarding certain issues because their voices, are, they're no more quiet. So yes, he goes to the tour and then, and this is a place that Loma had cleaned, cleaned up. up. I mean, come on. Come on. Oh no. It's not I in mean, my it's not in my place to say whether it happened or it, I, you, you well, understand, but the then it just doesn't exactly. follow logic. What were the comments? Oh people that people didn't made. believe that there was any they, they didn't believe him. They were just like this is another propaganda. Some people called it crisis management tactics and they were say, they said it was failing horribly because we're not dumb. And of course the news slang online is that they think there's fufu in our brain. Like, that's what it's saying. But you, you wouldn't yeah, the, the blame them because, are valid. you know, that, has, that, that is, first of all, I think last week we mentioned it was meant, this is meant to be a crime scene. That place was meant to not be touched by Loma or by anyone until they had done full forensic evidence. All right. And then, so let's assume that, you know, people had gone through the place. Um, every time I've gone through there, there's always, um, you know, security, you know, a police presence there. Loma came, cleaned up the whole place, mm -hmm. and then suddenly, 
you know, the, the governors, you know, come visiting, you know, the minister, you know, walks by and, oh, that's a camera. <laughs> and then, you know, he steps back, bring out his handkerchief and, you know, picks it up so he doesn't, you know, of course, put his fingerprints or forensic investigation. Yeah. Uh, and then he also he also blamed is from what I read he said oh that someone planted it there and people were assuming that he was saying oh one of the protesters planted the camera there and they're like oh so now you're blaming the protesters again for the camera being there and another thing that trended of course were the lootings so the first question and the one I almost even got into an altercation with someone online because I said okay that people were looting and then people were like don't call them looters and I'm like okay. Protesters, they said, don't call them protesters. And I'm like, okay, so exactly what do you call them? I, I get the ones that, in fact, I don't get anyone, the ones that went to this warehouse, the warehouses where they kept the palliatives. And then there were others that destroyed people's properties. So we know those ones that destroyed people's properties and businesses and went to show. They, they so practically how do we make them. that distinction? Because we're having that conversation earlier on the breakfast, yeah. and uh, Osaoge was of the opinion that, um, I mean, there are bigger issues than. Uh, looking at those that went to loot. So what distinction is being made online about those that looted government palliatives and those that looted private businesses? Is there any comments so, as to... Yeah, Nigerians aren't blind, especially those online. They, 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 they have their eyes wide open. They've, many people online, do, they don't support the people that went to loot people's businesses. They, they speak out against them. Tell them that you're just, you're, they're the ones destroying Nigeria. They're the ones even giving us more problems to... To, to deal with. But you see, those ones that looted the warehouses, the, the palliatives, the support online is overwhelming. Because the, the, the big agreement from what I read, from the comments I read, was that these things were meant for the people anyway. So yes, it wouldn't get to everybody. But on a normal day, they don't even trust the government to make sure it reaches everyone. So yeah. they might as well just take whatever they can whoever can carry five bags of whatever so should carry five bags. So there's justification for yeah. one kind of stealing and you, justification exactly. for so that's the other conversation kind of online it, it, that it, 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 Something is, is really skewed with our moral compass. If we can I, justify one and not justify well, the other. I was having a conversation with someone and I said, it, it's, come, it's come down to this. People don't trust the government, quote and unquote. So they feel like, okay, you know what, well, whatever it is we can do for ourselves, go ahead and do it. Because they, 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 the, the, the consensus is that if they give, if the government really wanted to get this thing across to people, why weren't they transparent enough to, to tell people that, oh, we have these things here. We're going to share it on a certain day. This is how it's going to go from this street to this street. The transparency wasn't there. So they don't even believe that the government was going to make sure it gets to them in those local government areas. So, so why not so, just so, go so ahead and take Something I would also want? say is, you know, you're not, so people are hungry today. Mm -hmm. They're not hungry, um, you know, in advance of December. You know, if you were planning to, you know, release them on your birthday, nobody's going to wait for your birthday to eat. They're hungry they today. Now. They want to eat now. And that's one of the things that we mentioned earlier. And I was saying that I feel like we are still ignoring what the biggest challenge is. No matter how much you condemn it, and yes, it is right to condemn, you know, the stealing and the looting and all of that of both the COVID-19 palliatives and people's businesses, all of that should be condemned. Mm -hmm. But we're still not having a conversation on poverty. I mean, we, we, we talk about it in passing, but we still don't realize that it is right. It's all around us. Yeah. The, the, the Lagos that is your reality, the Nigeria that is your reality for you as a person mm -hmm. makes you somehow blind to what the true reality is for a million other people that are right how, next to you let, let, let in your me, environment. Mm -hmm. And if you don't address that poverty, no matter how many people you arrest and prosecute and condemn and call them um, looters or protesters or vandals, there are still a thousand more yes, that are hungry. The tricky question from what you were saying, yeah. um, do, do we still have these social media beggars this period of well, absolutely. Uh, um, yeah. well, unrest? Absolutely. The, 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 uh, they, people they that go to DM. They don't it, care whether there's unrest or not. They will they'll always, they, it doesn't, the unrest doesn't determine what they do. They do it on a normal day. So yeah, they still do that. So long, the, the, the long and short of, the conversation online is the fact that yeah it feels like lagos for example is calm now but people are still angry people are waiting to see what happens after now especially the hashtag five for five so we heard a lot of things during the protests a lot of promises were made a lot of meetings were held so we want to see the aftermath of, of you know people are actually looking forward to see okay so now that the protests have stopped 
what happens? What will those things? Will the we see the change we requested? Yes. Will we see the change that you promised us? The governor of Lagos State, for example, is at the middle of it all because I, I don't want. I'm, I'm not taking for granted what people are doing in other states, but Lagos, for example, they are waiting because the government, was, the governor, was very vocal about what he was doing. His meeting with the president, um, plans that have been put in place, committees that have been set to make sure that oh, the brutality. What are people saying that about stop. the investigation that has been ordered, especially? Um, when we didn't inquiry. hear from the president about the situation in Lekki, though there's been mm -hmm. statements from his aides that uh, he was waiting for, you know, investigation. So what are they saying on social media about this? So if th there's a slang that people use online that they say we always, Nigerian government will always set up a committee to look into another committee. So as far as they are concerned, they are just, they are, they are wasting time. They're just using it to buy time. Yeah, that's the word. They're using it to buy time, and this whole thing will just blow away and will sweep it under the carpet. They, I, I look forward to seeing something big happening, you know, something that they can say, okay, yes, they heard our cry, they did something. You know, because the truth is, the, the, the level of faith they have in the government, and I don't think it's just the government of now. I think it's just, it's been... Generally. It, it's, been, it's happened over the years. They just don't have faith in the government. The so same trust, reason why yeah. you would say... People are not eager to go collect their PVCs when they, because they just feel like even if I get it, will the person I want get voted in? Even if the person gets voted in, would the person not go there and do something different from what he had promised? Because the president, for example, people pulled out, pulled up his um, speech or his campaign speech, and they are comparing it to the things that we're seeing now. And it just they don't they don't look like they came from the well same the question place. will remain also. for quite a while and we're trusting that you'll be bringing us up to speed on whatever it said on Definitely. social media thank you very much for coming. coming hello hope you enjoyed the news please do subscribe to our youtube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates